we're going to test this little beauty, the Comica VM20. We're going to do some tests indoors and out in the field to give it a real old test and see whether or not it's as good or if not better than the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety boo. On top of giving it a real life test, we'll have a look at the features and what comes with it in this little box. And to be honest with you, you'd be quite surprised compared to others. So if you're thinking of buying one or actually in the market for a new microphone and haven't made your mind up yet, then this video should really help you. So here's today's uninteresting fact for you. Do you know that roulette is often referred to as the devil's game? But do you know why? It's because if you add up all the numbers on the outside rim of the wheel, it actually adds up to 666. Your son, the son of the devil. Now that's scary, isn't it? Plus today, what we'll be doing is announcing the winner of this one here, the um, Godox CL10. It's an ambient LED light. I gave that away a few weeks ago, or actually I did a video a few weeks ago, should I say, and a giveaway is gonna be announced today at the end of the video. But if you're interested in getting one of them, there'll be a link to the video up there. So I'm no expert on audio. However, I have tested a lot of mics, as you probably already know, over the last 12 months. I've got a few more to come. So I was chosen by Comica, along with a few other people on Instagram who entered the competition to get one of these to review it. So they've kindly sent me one free with no strings attached. I'll be giving you the good, the bad and the ugly based on the tests that I've been doing over the past few weeks or so. Now, let's get down to the price. It's actually, as well, when I went into recording this video, it was £135. Plus, there'll be a link down below because at the moment they're giving 5% discount on it on Amazon. So after this video, if you're interested in getting one, why not use that link? Because actually it's half the price of the Rode VideoMic Plus. And as you saw earlier on, it comes in a nice little box. However, the benefit with this one compared to the Rode ones is it actually comes with its own carry case, which we'll have a look at in a sec, as I think that's a bit of a bonus. Inside the box, you get everything you need and it's all protected by this nice foam padding. And you also have this elastic thing here that you can actually keep all your cables and you know, other bits and bobs in there as well. And there's a shop mount in there to stop all those horrible vibration noises. Plus you get all the cables you need for your camera and smartphone, but you will need to get a lightning phone adapter if you're gonna use it with an iPhone. Now there is a foam windshield with it, this one here, plus one of those fluffy wind muffs which you actually have to slide on top of the foam one, and then you pull these cords together. Now, as you can see, it is a bit fiddly to get the muff on top. And that's a bit of a pain to be honest with you, but I'm sure it'll do the job. Plus, there's another reason that that doesn't actually bother me, but you'll find out in a bit. It has a built-in rechargeable battery via USB, and you can actually charge it while you're using it, which is really cool for people that are doing gaming, streaming, or podcastings, or things like that, where you're recording for a long time. And as you can see, it has a battery display on it, which is really, really handy, so you can see what sort of power you got left. And it also has a 75 dB and a 150 dB low cutoff filter. Now, I don't know the technical size of that. All I know is that it's really good at cutting off things like um, wind noise or low sounds in the corner of your room. You know, we got those buzzes going on and things like that. Um, but remember, it will alter the tone of your voice. And I also like the volume control on it. Here it is on the back here. It's really easy to use. It steps through different segments so that you can adjust it and keep the control there when you've got the camera in front of you. And like I said, it's really, really easy to reach. But be careful once you've set it up because it hasn't got like a locking mechanism on there. And it'd be really easy to knock it out of sync. And the on and off switch. And to be honest with you, that's my only slight disappointment with this microphone because it is actually just an on and off switch. Not like the Video Mic Plus, whereby you can switch that one on and it will switch itself on and off when you actually start recording, which is absolutely superb when you're out vlogging. But to be honest with you, that won't disappoint me because I plan on using this microphone for in the studio and not taking it out and about. I'll stick with a Rode one for that. And the reason I'm going to do that is because after listening to the audio back on this just for a few tests that I've been doing, I actually prefer the sound of the audio off of this one when I'm inside. Anyway, let's get down to it. Let's get out in the field and give it a good old test. And I think this will be the perfect place to give it a good old test. We'll have a walk around the field and all of that lot. It's not too windy today, so I might have to simulate that with doing a bit of this. 
So let's get straight on to the test with no settings on the mic itself and also none of the wind muffs at all. We'll do that one first. So this is testing the microphone with no filter on it whatsoever. So it's just completely naked out in the open to listen to what it sounds like. Um, but what we do is go through the normal routine. So ABC, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully this is tickety boo. That should give you enough to sample it. We're going to try the um, microphone now with this phone filter on it. Right, so now I've got the phone filter on top of it and hopefully this might have made a difference to any wind noise that was going to be there. And again, I won't be able to tell until I get back to the studio, will I? So here's the normal test for it. It's ABC, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me and that'll be tickety boo. Right, we're going to put that um, furry wind muff on now. And uh, as you know, it's quite tricky to do it. So um, let's go and get that one tested. So this is with the full protection on. It's got the foam filter and the furry wind muff, and hopefully it's probably cancelled out all of the wind. But I won't be able to find out until we get back to the studio, will I? So here's the old test, A, B, C, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me. And this is Tiggity Boo. You can hear what it sounds like with the filters on there. We're gonna try it with the 75 decibel one first of all. So we'll give that a good old blast. So this is a test with the 75 decibels noise, 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 noise even filter put on just so you can um, tell the difference in the tone of the voice and things like that. So ABC, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me and this is pretty tickety boo. Let's go and switch to 151 on now. So I'm sure you're gonna notice a difference now. This is with the 150 decibels one on as well, the noise filter. So um, go through the normal routine. A, B, C, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me and this will be tickety boo. Right, let's get in that car now and try and simulate some wind because it isn't very windy today. So as soon as it's not that windy today, I'm gonna to give it a test hanging out of the car with a wind muff on. We'll just do the one test for that though because um, you never know, it might scare some of the horses. So I suppose I could have done with a gimbal for this, but I forgot to bring it down, didn't I? Anyway, this should give you an idea of what it sounds like. Plus, you've got to remember it's got the engine noise, plus the water under here in this field. It's um, pretty sodden at the moment with all the rain we've had in the UK. So here we go, let's do the test before my arm drops off. A, B, C, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear me. And this is Tiggity Boo. I'll find out when I get back in the studio. I'm gonna have to put this down now, because it's killing. <laughs> So there you go, how do you think it handled it? Leave a comment down below. And in a minute, what I'm gonna do is let you into a little secret of how you can improve your audio just at a click of a button. But let's get down to some sound tests here in the studio. So this is a test of the Comica VM20 without any presets added. A, B, C, one, two, three. Hope you tickety boo. So this is a test with the Comica VM20 with the presets added. A, B, C, one, two, three. Hope you tickety boo. Now let's test it against the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. So this is the test with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with no presets added. A, B, C, one, two, three. Hope you're all tickety boo. So this is the test with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the presets added. A, B, C, one, two, three. Hope you're all tickety boo. Now I know I said this earlier on, but after listening back to those and adding the presets to them as well, I've got to say I prefer the sound of the Comica microphone over the Rode one, but let me know in the comments down below. Now, as for that little secret to help you get a better audio at the click of a button, it should have given it away in the last piece. It's adding presets to them. Now I know it's nothing new, but I didn't know about it until I found out about this from a fellow YouTuber called Sam Holland. And no, I haven't made these presets. I'm not selling them. It's not a plug for me. I've actually bought them off of him. And if you're interested in getting them, and to be honest with you, they're cheap as chips and you won't ever regret ordering them because all you do is literally click on it, drag it on top of your audio in Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Um, I think that's what it's called on Apple, isn't it? And then that's it. It improves your audio just like that. And like I said, they're cheap as chips. So there'll be a link down below for you to be able to find them from Sam as they'll really make your audio sound smooth as pie. And I also said I was gonna announce the winner of that Godox CL10 Lite. So here goes, and the winner is, and the lucky winner is John Woodside. 
So John, thanks for entering. Here it is for you. I'll get that out to your post for you. Um, drop me your address in an email or something like that, or I'll get in touch with you, and we'll get that out to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, everyone, there'll be more giveaways later on in the year. In fact, we've got this um, other microphone here from TrackShot. It's one of those dual ones where you can actually have it for two people talking for interviews and things like that. So that looks pretty good. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. But during that one, I'm going to give you a giveaway for another microphone. So make sure you hit that subscribe so you don't miss out. And don't forget, if you've got any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and get back to you. Hopefully you found this useful and hopefully you've had a bit of fun. Stay safe out there everyone, have fun making stuff, keep smiling, cheers and gone.